Hi, I'm Josh with Woodland Mills, and this is our full-length product video about the Loglander 20 off-road logging arch. In these videos, we like to cover everything from product weight and dimensions. We'll touch on assembly. We're going to do an in-depth product walk around, and then I'm going to show you how to use it in both field and forest behind my ATV. I'll start with the product weights and dimensions. The box is 30 inches wide, 36 inches long, and 13 inches high. It weighs 130 pounds as a shipping weight, and because of that, the log lander can be shipped with a common courier right to your doorstep. For the assembly, because it does come boxed, it's going to take about an hour with common hand tools, and you're going to follow our manual just step by step to get you through that process. Now I want to do the detailed product walk around, and I'm going to start here with the rear arch. So we use a 2x2 heavy gauge steel tube. We bend it with our CNC tube bender to give us the strength and stability we need to carry the axles. We use that same 2x2 tube on both the left, the right, and the upper frame components. And then at the front, we use two laser cut steel plates to laminate that and carry that load up into the tongue and to the tow vehicle. Next, I want to touch on some mobility features. We've got some deflectors here, and this, when you're going through the forest, will help deflect so your tires don't get caught on objects or stumps. And we've galvanized them because they're a high wear item. We've got our tires. These are 15 by six by six. In behind on the inside of the rim, we're gonna have a Zerk fitting, which lets us grease those wheels and axles. We're also gonna have our rear log alignment wedges, and you'll see these in action when we get this in the field. Next, I'll touch on the choker chain. So we include an eight foot choker chain. It's got a 16 inch probe on it, which lets you fish it under the logs. And again, I'll show you how that works when we get it in the field. Next, I wanna talk about the winch. This is a two speed, 2,500 pound winch that we've oriented on its side to make it ambidextrous for the user. So this gives you the ability to work it from the left or the right side of the log lander, which we'll find helpful once you're out in the woods. On the winch, we've got a braided solid core galvanized cable, and it feeds back again over this solid steel pulley we've galvanized. And then on the end of that, we've got a slotted hook, which works perfectly with the choker chain and then this is a good opportunity to show you the choker chain hooks, also done in galvanized as a high wear item. On the front, we have a two inch ball receiver, which is gonna let us put that on the tow vehicle. And that'll be the next step in this video. So we've got it backed up over the log now. I wanna show you how to use the choker chain and the winch to get the weight of the log up and into the arch. So we're gonna use the probe here. We can bend it a bit, they come straight at new. That's gonna help us fish this under the log. We're gonna latch in the the choker fitting here, the chain just fits through. And then we wanna get the winch hook as low as we can. And then we're gonna start winching the log up into the arch. We're gonna take the chain and put it in one of the chain hooks. Take the slack, put it over here, and then we're gonna let the weight of the log off of the cable and down onto the chain, and then it'll bring the weight up into the hooks.
you'll see we've got no weight in the cable. We've put it all here in the chain and our choker is engaged. And now we'll pull this here out of the woods. So now we've got to our destination and I'm gonna show you how to get the log out of the arch. So we're gonna take the winch line, hook it on the chain just above the choker. Take the weight off the chain. Disengage the chain and then bring the log back down to the ground. Now if I if I disengage the choker and I pull forward, the arch will pull the choker chain out from under the log and then I can move on. Here we have an example of a log retrieval and I'm going to show you how to use the Log Lander 20 and the winch uh, to pull that log through and get it to a place you can get the, the arch over it so you can get it out of the forest. If you fell a log cross trail, we want to show you how to use the log lander to get that log repositioned, lined up with the trail so you can get it out of the forest. I hope you've enjoyed the video about the Loglander 20. We showed you how to use it and its capabilities in both field and forest. Thank you for watching. This has been Josh with Woodland Mills.